Did you know that this planet right here has an official name? And the name is Phobitor. It also has two neighbors. One of them is Poltergeist. And the other one, the one that you see right here, is known as Draugr. These three planets have official confirmed names. And they orbit a star with an official name, Lich. Although technically a neutron star. These are the first ever planets discovered, found back in 1992 and 1994. And these are known as the Pulsar planets. A type of planets that actually is apparently super rare. But back in the days, the scientists got really lucky. But who named these planets? Why did they get an official name, while a lot of other planets have no names other than some unusual designation? Well, they're actually named by the International Astronomical Union, and for these planets they received these names back in 2019. And back then, 112 different countries organized national campaigns, with nearly a million people then voting on different name selections, eventually assigning quite a lot of proper names to quite a lot of different planets. Here's for example the planet and the star named by Canada, here's the one from the UK, and the one from the US. So basically, one name per country. And this was previously done back in 2015 with even more planets and more stars, with this list right here that you can find in the description essentially showing us all of the proper names for the variety of exciting planets and stars that the scientists are super curious to learn more about. A wonderful person, this is Anton, and looks like IAU is about to do this again. They're inviting everyone to join in and to essentially provide and vote on names for one of these exoplanets located in the night skies, which means that if your team wins, you get to name the planet and the star it orbits. So naturally, I was looking for a star I could name Anton Petrov. No, actually no, I'm not that vain. But I was excited to propose certain names. Turns out there are very strict rules, so you can't just pick a random planet and name it Planety McPlanet or between Starry McStar. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. But the names proposed should still be names of things, people, or places that have some kind of a cultural, historical, or geographical significance. With the biggest preference being for indigenous names, which is why the names from Australia and Canada were picked from different indigenous languages. But also mythology or any kind of legends or anything else related to some really cool name that could be a good name for a planet or a star. For example, there's a planet named Dagon, and I originally thought that this is from H.P. Lovecraft. And technically it is, but it's also apparently a name of a deity that someone was able to connect to the Levantine mythology and the fertility god. So there are definitely some really cool names you could propose. But you have to propose two names, one for the planet and one for the star and the theme has to kind of match. While the actual explanation for why these names were chosen has to have some kind of a logical explanation as well. So once again, Planet Mac Planet will probably not work. And at the same time, if there are other planets in the system, the scientists prefer that this theme can be expanded to other planets as well. So for example, if one of the planets here is named after some deity in some culture, well, maybe there are some other deities that can also be used for other names. Although the example that the scientists provide here is of this planet known as HD 63454b, properly known as Ibarapita, but it's also orbiting a star known as Sable. Both are culturally significant names of different trees in Uruguay. Moreover, as soon as these names become official, they're going to be basically in every single space catalog, including of course in Space Engine that I'm using right here. And so here, as you can see, if I type Sable, the name shows up right away. Planet Mac Planet does not. And you also encourage to provide a written explanation and preferably a video, essentially connecting everything together and telling the scientists why you think this is the best name this particular planet could have. With one of these 20 planets that I'm going to briefly mention very soon being the main candidates. But there are obviously some restrictions as well. So cannot name planets after real people. There's not going to be Elon Musk planet out there. You also cannot just come up with a name or use some kind of an acronym and cannot use trademarks either, so no Planet SpaceX. You also cannot name the planet Planet Whiskers after your cat. No names of pets, religious organizations, or anything that's too political or involves some kind of a military or religious activity. No acronyms either. No Planet LOL, which does make things a little bit less interesting, I guess. However, you can still propose quite a lot of names based on your own culture and your own language. As a matter of fact, one of the cooler names I've seen so far was the name of the star Absolutno, which is a name of a concept from a science fiction novel 
from an author who was born in Czechia. So, in other words, sci-fi concepts could also be allowed. Which does open up a lot of opportunities for naming various objects. And more importantly, all of these planets are actually targets from the upcoming missions for the James Webb Telescope, meaning that at some point, these 20 planets are going to be described by their proper name that possibly you've proposed originally. Which is actually a pretty cool way of engaging with the public and I guess giving you bragging rights as well. But here's the thing. I think we kind of represent our own culture as well. I mean, YouTube has technically become its own nation by now. And internet is a big part of life for a lot of people. And so maybe we should join in as a YouTube community and name a planet as well. I don't really know how we're going to proceed yet, but feel free to leave some of the possible suggestions for some of the names in the comments below. I'm probably going to be doing a follow-up in the future discussing if we're going to go through with this and if we're actually going to try to name this together with potentially some prizes, giveaways and whatever else for whoever comes up with the best name. But because we have a few months to decide this and to plan this, with the deadline being in mid-November of 2022, let's actually discuss some of these planets and what we already know about them based on the initial observations and the initial studies. So as I mentioned, there are 20 planets here in total. The planets that maybe will be worth exploring in more detail once more studies are conducted by the James Webb. For now, here's what we know. We have Gliese 1214b, potentially an ocean world, significantly larger than planet Earth, but smaller than Neptune. Gliese 3470b, a mini Neptune that's potentially evaporating extremely fast. Gliese 367b, a very hot iron planet, relatively close to its parent star. Gliese 436b, a hot Neptune-like world, with quite a lot of atmosphere being boiled off by the star, a hot Jupiter Hat P12b, the least massive gas giant discovered to date, Hat P26b, some kind of a hot Neptune-like world with potentially evaporating atmosphere, Hat 72b, a gas giant that seems to orbit a star slightly smaller than our own sun, but once again a relatively hot object, at least 40 masses of the sun, HG 95086b, a really massive gas giant that was discovered by seeing it directly orbiting its star, with a total mass being approximately 5 masses of Jupiter. Hipparchos 65426b, a relatively young planet approximately 14 million years old, that's very likely still developing and still undergoing a lot of collisions, but is already really far away from the parent star, an intriguing terrestrial world, potentially a little bit bigger than planet Earth, known as L168-9b, although in this case orbiting a red dwarf, a super hot world known as LHS 3844b that orbits its parent star every 11 hours, but seems to be a little bit larger than planet Earth, yet way way hotter at 770 degrees Celsius, a Neptune-like LTT 9779b orbiting a star similar to our own Sun, with a mass very similar to our own Neptune, but in a much, much tighter orbit. Here, a single orbit only takes approximately 0.8 days. WASP-121b, the first exoplanet discovered to contain water, although once again a relatively hot planet, and in this case a hot Jupiter, 2500 degrees Celsius in temperature. WASP-166b, a Neptune-like world orbiting an F-type star, but again, a pretty hot one because a single orbit here takes approximately 5.4 days. WASP-19b, another hot Jupiter with an extremely fast orbit of 19 hours per orbit, with a mass slightly higher than Jupiter. WASP-43b, another hot Jupiter with a really fast orbit of 19.2 hours, that's already been thoroughly investigated by various other studies and telescopes. WASP-63b, another hot Jupiter that actually represents one of the more iconic poofy planets, planets that have expanded in radius way more than similar planets of similar mass, another hot Jupiter orbiting a K-type star known as WASP-69b, not as hot as some of the other planets I've discussed, but still pretty hot, the object known as WD0806-661, either a really large planet or some kind of a sub-brown dwarf orbiting a white dwarf, making this the only white dwarf planet on the list. And lastly, Gliese 486b, some kind of a rocky planet orbiting a red dwarf, potentially another terrestrial planet with extremely hot temperatures. 
with all 20 targets visible right here in this single image. And so because in this case it's not really limited to individual countries, but is actually limited to teams of people, if you already have someone in mind, you can definitely create your own team, propose a name, write a description and make a short video, and potentially come up with a pretty cool name for one of these 20 planets. And because IAU doesn't do this every year and only does this occasionally, I find this to be a pretty rare opportunity to leave a mark on the future of science. And so if you already have a team and have some cool ideas, the link for this is in the description below. If not, and if you just want to join in possibly something that we organize here on YouTube through this channel, I guess just wait. I'm not sure where I'm going to go with this yet, and I have no idea what names we're going to be proposing. But we might do it after all, and we still have a few months to plan this. And if you happen to have a suggestion for a name that maybe represents the idea of wonder, or wonderful, wonderful person, and it kind of relates to something mythological or something really cool, or something potentially related to legends, post it in the comments below, and maybe we'll go with that. And if you propose something really cool and we end up winning, well, expect prizes, potential rewards, and uh, yeah, we'll figure this out. On that note, check out all of the relevant links in the description below, and once the names are picked, sometimes next year, specifically the announcement is going to be on March of 2023, I'll be following this up with another video, talking a little bit more about these exoplanets I've briefly mentioned in this video, and I guess talking a little bit more about the names as well. On that note, thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who actually wants to join in, or someone who would love to name a planet as well, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt that you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.